I decided to take a little hike up the mountain today. This is right up behind my place. And I thought I'd bring you along with me. So let's go see what we can find. I've been hiking uh, this country as far back as I can remember. This used to be my my trail where I'd take off and climb those hills up there. It's pretty steep. When I was a kid, me and my dog pal would take off up here and we'd be gone half the day. This whole mountain is uh, made out of serpentine. And it has this really pretty colored green rock that's actually pretty good for carving into sculptures and things. And so I get it sometimes and I'll make uh, different animals or arrowheads or something out of it. I really like the characters it has. Sometimes it'll have a little veins running through it. And you can see that this serpentine rock is met by a gravel layer and this is a river rock. So right here where the old ancient river used to uh, flow over the top of the serpentine which would be bedrock there would be gold here in this layer right along the edge of this where it hits the bedrock and so gold was discovered here in the 1800s and people came from all over the country young fellas came to gold mine here and so all that mountain up there this country in here was gold mining country I didn't bring Pearl with me today because there's too much of a chance of her running into a rattlesnake I have to really watch my step where I'm going because uh, this country has got a lot of rattlesnakes in it and so what I used to do when I was a kid was the first thing I'd do is look for a, a good walking stick to take with me and uh, then I would tap the brush in front of me with the stick to make sure that I could uh, hear a rattlesnake if he was in there. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to look for a, some kind of a walking stick. The uh, other advantage of the walking stick is that it keeps your balance on these really steep uh, hillsides. Another reason I decided not to bring Pearl with me this time is because there's a lot of mountain lions living up here and I don't want anything to attract the mountain lions. That should be fancy enough for me. This is just a a game trail here. We'll 
basically the only thing that uses it nowadays is deer. This is where an old man has to be kind of careful not to slip and break a leg or something. And that's where that walking stick really comes in handy. It's like a extra leg. But if I'm in a hurry, I'll grab two walking sticks, one in each hand, and go up the mountain like a mountain goat. It really, really does help. But I just love the views up here. A couple of years ago, I cut that limb off and uh, made a really nice walking stick out of it. You can see where someone a long, long time ago had cut the tree. Maybe it was the gold miners back in the 1860s. Uh, I don't know who it was, but they cut that tree, maybe used it for firewood or something. But there's some interesting history in this country. Here's where I've got to be careful. I've got to get up there to a game trail and then carefully walk the game trail around. I don't want to misstep on this slide here or I might twist my ankle or something. Just got to really watch where you place your feet and listen for rattlesnakes. little bush is called mountain mahogany and I've made a stick or two out of it but it is the hardest wood in the world to carve I like this kind of a forest it's got a very old feel to it like they're ancient old trees that have had a tough time surviving the winters, but have managed to hang on through the years. Some of them are hundreds of years old and higher up, and some of them a thousand years old or more. Look like a uh, some pack rat must live in there. Let's see if I can get you up there a little bit farther. Could be bats in there too, I don't know. This hill seems a lot steeper to me than it used to. My knees are getting kind of sore. Plant your stick first and then take a step. Make sure you 
giving yourself a brace. You know, that's probably why I started making walking sticks. I spent so much time using them as a kid and all my life, really. That's my little town down there, where I grew up and where I still live. All these houses up here are all new since I was a kid. There wasn't anything up there for miles. This that I'm walking in right here is an old ditch. It was made by the Chinese back in the 1800s to bring water from way up the canyon along this route and they would come up to a rock like that and then build a wooden flume to carry the water around the rock. It's a really neat thing to see something that is so it took so much work to do. And the reason they brought the water was so that they could wash gold out of the out of the places where there was no no river to wash it. And they brought the river to them. Pretty ingenious. They were hard-working people. Here's where the ditch had to end, and they had to build a wooden, wooden ditch around that rock because they didn't want to have to uh, dig that whole rock out. So the ditch will continue on the other side of that rock. Let's see if I can get up there without I want to keep hiking as long as my body's able to do it. I don't want to ever get to the place to where I can't hike, but I know that that day's coming. So for now, and in the meantime, I'm going to keep on hiking. Interesting place. Looks to me like somebody dug here for gold. I can't think what else they would be digging here for. I'm a little bit winded. I'm not in as good a shape as I'd like to be. But that's a pretty steep hill too. <laughs> Got to stop once in a while and look at these interesting places. Not only because they're interesting, but because I need a break from climbing up the hill. I like these old snags like this. Look like that old thing could tell a, a hundred interesting stories. Got a lot of character, just like an old timer. See how the junipers get these berries on them. And when they're ripe, they're not really that bad. They're kind of sweet, and, but they got a lot of sap in them and they'll make your mouth all sticky, but they taste good. And they actually might make a good tea. You hear that, that weed? 
I hate coming across these when I'm hiking. They sound just like a rattlesnake rattling. <laughs> they, always, they always make me jump. And that mountain over there is where most of the gold was found. And there's still people that prospect that and find gold. There's little caves here and there going back in on bedrock or on hard rock uh, that has quartz veins and they'll follow those quartz veins inside the mountain and once in a while they'll hit a pocket of gold and some of them got quite a bit of gold but back then back in town the merchants would charge the young fellows an awful lot of money for <laughs> for anything they needed so I don't really think any of them struck it rich here's a here's a piece of quartz that's a gold bearing rock and that's what the old timers used to dig in on to to find the veins of gold we'll probably see a lot more quartz on the way down I'm gonna start heading back off the mountain This is where my trusty old stick comes in pretty handy. Well, we made it back down to the old Chinese ditch. That's it right ahead there. So, might have a little easier walking from here on. You can see where the old Chinese workers stacked rocks in here and they had to go across kind of a canyon back over there and so from there they had to make a, a wooden trough to carry the water to the gold mining operation and so I'm looking on the ground here and this is part of an old board that they used to make that that trough with and I'll bet you we're going to be able to find some square nails and maybe maybe something else that they left behind there's some more old pieces of board left over from and look down here on the ground and there's an old square nail but I think they're just all over the place here. Took a lot of nails to make a to make a big water trough to go across the canyon. There's a really good one there. I mean that's just that's pretty straight. Really good shape. I think it's neat. I always like square nails. It's another piece of quartz here I always look at them because one of these days I'm going to pick up one and it's going to be loaded with gold I don't see any in that though ditch and look down here at this rock and there's a snake skin not sure what kind of snake it is and I don't know if he's in that underneath that rock 
but I'm not gonna fool around and find out either. I'm always looking at stuff while I'm out here. Uh, I've spent my whole life just enjoying the beauty of what God's made and and uh, trying to tuck it away in my memory to uh, maybe one day paint a picture of it or nowadays to carve it. And so. I try to pay really close attention to the way things are so that I can try to do it justice when I carve it or paint it. Boy, that's a big old puff ball. Big old mushroom. I've never seen one bigger than that. That's big. All dried out. That's why they call them puff balls. You see that dust coming out of them. The spores. Man, that's the biggest one I ever seen. I just about made it back down to the flatland again. Down in the canyon. So, I had a good little time up there, looking at some of the places I used to hike when I was a kid. I hope you all enjoyed coming along with me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> it's good to see you too.